Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing about the last problem of today's bi-weekly contest. Check if point is reachable. The problem states that you are given an infinitely large grid and you are starting at point 1, 1 and you need to reach the point target x, target y. Now in one step, you can go from point x, y to one of these points. right? And you need to return true if you can reach point target x, target y by performing one of like some of these operations starting from 1, 1. Otherwise, you will return false. So for example, 4, 7. So you can reach 4, 7 starting from 1, 1 through this set of operations. So you will first apply this operation, right? And you will go from 1, 1 to 1, 2. Again, you will apply the same operation. You will go from 1, 2 to 1, 4. You will apply the same operation again and you will go to 1, 8, right? And now you will apply this operation, first operation, and you will go from 1, 8 to 1, 7, right? And from 1, 7, you will apply the third operation and go from 1, 7 to 2, 7. And once again, you will apply the third operation and you will get to 4, 7, right? So because you are able to reach 1, 4, 7 starting from 1, 1, the result is true. And but in this case, like you can't reach 6, 9 starting from 1, 1 using any possible moves and hence the answer is false right so this is one of those problems where you need to uh, find patterns right you you can't solve it uh, through algorithm through some algorithms the uh, because the constraint is too huge first of all so basically let's say the constraint was not that huge and it is around like 10 to the power 3 or 10 to the power 4 right in that case what you could have done is uh, just do a BFS, start a BFS from 1, 1 and visit every possible alternatives and because the sample space is limited, you will stop after a particular point and finally you will know which all points are reachable from 1, 1 and based on that you will return true or false, right? But here the sample space is very huge and hence you can't do that. So basically we need to find pattern, right? So let's see how to solve this. So we have these two kind of operations. First operation is we go from x comma y to x comma y minus x or x minus y comma y or second kind of operation is you go from x comma y to 2 cross x comma y and x comma, x comma 2 cross y. Now uh, let's just focus on these two operations first. right? We will come back here but let's just focus on these two operations first. So what this operation looks like this is exactly what we do in GCD, right? This is standard Euclidean algorithm. You go from x comma y to x comma y minus x or x minus y comma y depending on whether x or y is greater, right? So because this is GCD algorithm, you are very sure that from any x comma y here 15 comma 12, you will be reaching at some t comma t right where t will be the gcd so what we do in euclidean algorithm after this step what you could have done you could just do the same operation like uh, you will say okay uh, i will again perform subtraction so it will become 0 comma t right or t comma 0 and finally t is my answer so this is what you you would have done so basically from any x comma y you would be reaching at some t comma t and after that you will be performing one more step in gcd and you will be getting t as a gcd but here we are not performing this and we are saying that okay from 15 comma 12 there is definitely a way by applying these operations that i will get to t comma t some t comma t right now after getting at t comma t would you apply these two one of these two operation the answer is no let's say you apply the first operation whether like you go to x comma y minus x in that case you will be reaching at t comma 0 right and t comma 0 is something you don't want because from 0 you will never get 1 irrespective of what you do you will never get 1 because the operations are such that either this 0 will remain 0 or this 0 will become negative so you will never get 1 so basically from t comma t you will not perform this first operation and neither you will perform second operation because of same reasons so only operation that remains from t comma t is these operations if you want to go to 1 comma 1 right so in a in a way what what i'm saying is 
we will be doing something like this so what we have been asked is okay go from 1 comma 1 to some x comma y but what we will do we will say okay from x comma y i know there exists some steps i am sure very sure that there exists some steps that from x comma y i will be reaching at some t comma t now i will say okay instead of saying reach can i reach target x comma target y i will say okay can i reach t comma t from 1 comma 1 and if answer is yes i will return true otherwise the answer is false so basically while going from 1 comma 1 to t comma t i am very sure that i will be i will be getting this target x comma target y in between right so that's the intuition now here we have shown that okay from t comma t from t comma t we uh, we want to like instead of saying that okay can i go from 1 comma 1 to t comma t i will say okay can i go from t comma t to 1 comma 1 that's what now we will try to solve okay so initially the problem was this we reduced to that okay from 1 comma 1 i will be getting to t comma t and now what we are saying is okay let's solve opposite in the opposite direction like from t comma t i want to go to 1 comma 1 and if i am able to do that the answer is like and also like this in this path t comma t to 1 comma 1 i will be performing reverse operations right so in this path what i will be performing so can uh, only thing is divide by 2 right so basically t should be one of 2 to the power of i right that's what t t can be t can't be anything else because we have already said that we will not apply this kind of operations at t comma t right so basically what we are saying is okay from 1 comma 1 like from t comma t i will be getting to 1 comma 1 only if t is to the power of i so if t is to the power of i uh, the answer is true otherwise answer is false now wh what is t t is the gcd of target x comma target y because we know while doing these operations on any x comma y t comma t would be the gcd t would be the gcd and we will be getting t comma t as one of the outcome after performing these operations right so hope this makes sense now some of you might be thinking that okay uh, everything is good but why are we performing only this operations when i am going from target x comma target y to t comma t what if i perform this kind of operations like second set of operations so the answer to that is very simple what you will be doing you will be multiplying x by 2 or you will be multiplying y by 2 right now let's say you multiply x by 2 so you will multiply this 515 by 2 now what could change in t comma t this t can become 2t that's the worst thing that can happen nothing else right because you multiply by 2 2 is a prime number right now what the best thing can happen is here you added a factor of 2 and there was already a factor of 2 here so the gcd would become twice so this instead of t comma t you will be getting 2 t comma t t right so 2 t comma t to 2t is again one of 2 to the power of i right so that is still true like this equation still holds or what could happen otherwise like you can multiply this by 2 as well right or some 2 to the power of j so basically whatever you do here this gcd would be multiplied by some 2 to the power of uh, maybe let's say l right so this gcd would be multiplied by 2 to the power of l now our equation is the value should be power of 2 and this would not change basically you multiplied here and after, while you will be going backwards you will divide that so equation will not change and hence this solution still holds right so let's just quickly reiterate what we have said we want to go from 1 comma 1 to some x comma y and we said that okay this operation is exactly what gcd is right so in the process of finding gcd we are sure that we will be getting at some t comma t right where t is my gcd now 
what I will do, okay, I know that from 1 comma 1, I want to go to target, target is target y. Instead, what I will say, I will go from 1 comma 1 to t comma t. If this is reachable, this is also reachable, right? Now, this t comma t, what we are saying is, okay, instead of going from 1 comma 1 to t comma t, what I will do, I will try to go from t comma t to 1 comma 1. And we have just uh, said that, okay, these kind of operations are not possible here, or you will not want to apply this kind of operation because that would lead to zero here. And zero is not good uh, at any positions here. And because of this, what we said that, okay, only operation that makes sense here is divide by two. So we will keep on dividing by two uh, from here and see if we are getting at one comma one. If we are getting at one comma one, it means that this target x comma target y is also reachable. Otherwise, this target x comma target y is also not reachable, right? So what is our approach? Approach is find out the t, which is GCD of target x comma target y, and then just see whether t is a power of two or not. If it is a power of two, return true. Otherwise, return false. Right. So hope this makes sense. The solution is exactly similar. We just find out the GCD and check if it is a power of two. If it is power of two, return true. Otherwise, return false. Right. So hope you got some intuition behind it. It is not complete proof, I know, but uh, you got some. I hope you got some intuition behind the solution. Again, this is not an algorithmic problem per se. This is more of an ad hoc type of problem where you need to find out patterns and all. So if you are not able to solve this in the live contest, don't worry, it happens. And even I was not able to solve it today. So it happens, uh, these kind of problems are actually tricky if you are not aware of uh, uh, the pattern itself. So I, I, I kind of uh, uh, figured this GCD part uh, well after the contest. So basically that's why I was lost and any, anyone who have figured out that, okay, this is exactly GCD, uh, for them, the problem might have been simple, right? So anyway, that's fine. Uh, hope you find this solution helpful. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.